Hello and welcome back. Today we are playing as the Dutch East Indies in Victoria 3. Last episode we did our starting steps and we both broke free from the Netherlands so we wouldn't have to pay as much taxes uh, or so that we wouldn't have to pay the Dominion juice to them as it were. And we also passed basically all the economic laws we want utilizing the corn laws which is an overtuned event chain. This episode what we are going to be doing is we are going to be provoking a revolution by going for per capita taxation. If you take a look this will radicalize the landowners since it's a 45% clout uh, big boy, uh, this will cause a revolution. So what we're going to do before we do this, we're going to pull a little bit of a sneaky. This is a kind of a good opportunity or a good time. I suppose it would have been a decent time to do it uh, when we were subject of the Netherlands. We're first going to switch everyone to a regular infantry, which is going to make all the conscripts suck. And then we are going to delete... Uh, the barracks is in everywhere but the capital so the capital boyos should be able to handle everyone else when we uh, have this revolution and then we will come in here and we will switch to per capita taxation and after we get rid of this we should be able to go to parliamentary republic after we put the intelligentsia in government so let's have a little bit of a go and we'll be off on our way um as far as what else we'll be trying to do this episode, we'll try and get at least 100 construction. Um, this is kind of the goal, and then once we get around that area, then we will start building a navy and be able to expand again. Uh, we are just keeping all these guys as subjects. You notice we have a whole bunch of subjects, and the reason we're keeping them as subjects and not just uh, annexing them is because they get five free construction, and relative to our construction, this is a huge amount, so we're kind of more than happy to let them just build a bunch of buildings up, even if there will be mostly rural buildings uh, which is not quite ideal. We also do have problems with our market currently, like stuff like paper, for example, and we're having to import all of it, or most of it, uh, in order to resolve these. We have a bunch of import routes and these types of things to help resolve this, but this is because we did get booted out of the market. Now, I believe... Yes, we do have a place with natural harbors, so we will put in here shipyards and put them on auto-expand, and just have civilian shipbuilding for now. Uh, that way it's in the queue so it doesn't auto build somewhere else. We have a little, we have a few things in the queue. We'll just kick these to the bottom. Um, this place might even rebel, we'll see. Why is this not causing a rebellion? This should cause a revolution. I mean, we'll just pass another thing they don't like to provoke a revolution then. Um, but us having a small military is not uh, too big a downside at this current point in time uh, with kind of what we have going on. And so it's not a big deal. Now seems like a good time to do it. Once you have a really big military, you wouldn't want to do this type of thing. Man, this, uh, this paper shortage is really going to be uh, causing problems for us. I can't believe we have like max taxes. Uh, standard of living should be dropping. How are they not... They're minus 10 angry, so they should eject themselves from government and cause a revolution here. This is interesting. Yeah, now they're minus 12. Surely you create a radical group, right? Huh. Well, our idea was to provoke a revolution. If we can pass all the laws we want to pass anyways uh, without them, then I guess we don't care too much. We could also just kick them out. I think the problem is we lose a lot of legitimacy. We could do something like this, which would actually be better for passing it. But uh, we'll just stick on this until they decide they want to rev. And then we should be able to put down the revolution. Uh, if not, we'll just keep passing laws through them. Very strange. Uh, this should have provoked a revolution. But the main reason, or what we're mostly constructing in here, is going to be uh, like all these iron mines, these log camps, all these sorts of things. This is to try and make construction cheaper. We want to turn all of these onto iron frame if we can. And um, this will take quite a bit of iron in our market. And so we are going to need to produce a lot of iron. We have a decent amount, but we got to make it cheaper. That is going to be a good one. Uh, we can probably turn on maybe a couple of these to iron frame. Maybe just one, probably. Uh, we'll turn on central Java. And now we are making a decent amount of money. This is because we're getting a huge investment pool transfer because... Uh, this place is building clothing. And finally, we get our revolution going to pop off here. Um, and so we will be able to handle this and then come back and do other stuff. Uh, where are you building this? Malukas. Is that here? Uh, my understanding of geography of uh, is not the best in terms of where this is at. 
Okay, I was kind of close. We could probably also put it on auto expand, but we do want to swap up to the dye workshops and craftsmen selling immediately because they're better PMs, and then we will handle that sort of stuff with, uh, uh, what is it, importing and exporting, these types of things. We, oh no, we get a Diplo play against us. Now, um, we are going to have allies pretty much everywhere as well as having, you know, uh, much better PMs on the 10 units we have left. They don't have a single barracks anywhere. And it didn't mess up our Q2 too much. We still have the Arts Academy, the ports, these types of stuff. And so we should be able to put them down relatively quickly. Uh, now that they uh, are out, we will put these guys in government. We'll be nice and righteous. And we'll pass the laws pretty quick here, I imagine. Uh, getting both per capita taxation and we're going to switch on to Parliamentary Republic immediately afterwards. Philanthropy. Oh, no. I guess we already have such a high enactment chance. We'll take the uh, minimum expected standard of living. We do have the Great Hunger event. We would like to get rid of it. Uh, and we are making quite a bit of money. Now, the reason we can't turn on iron frame buildings currently, which is a little bit annoying, is we just like don't have enough iron. Uh, we just instantly hit shortages. In fact, we don't have enough weapons either. Uh, we can just take a quick look at Great Britain and France. Uh, we are trying to maybe get into Great Britain's market. Uh, we can't get a trade agreement with them yet. Uh, getting a trade agreement with... Uh, great Shing would be great. It'd be great if we could invite them to the customs union, but we're just like not uh, big and bad enough, as it were. Um, yeah, making a customs union with uh, Great Shing in it would be uh, tremendous. But that is not uh, something we can do. Generous donations. Uh, more than happy to get uh, huge juice with Great Britain, so we'll do this. We do want to just join their customs union. We cannot really create a customs union of our own yet. Or we have our own customs union, but we'd rather just be inside theirs. Um, and so we're trying to do a larger volume of trade than what might necessarily be efficient uh, with them. I think that what we will do is we will add a little bit of uh, construction in a couple places. At the front of the queue. This won't be... Uh, Iron frame buildings, this will be the regular buildings, but currently we kind of don't want to be quite making this much money. Actually, let's decrease the taxes back down. We have the taxes really high because we wanted uh, the landowners to get juiced out of the government uh, because of this new modifier, which I think came in in 1.2.2, uh, where uh, you get minus attraction groups, interest in groups in the government. And so by getting rid of that, uh, we are hoping to... Um, well, we would have just rather been kind of on the lower taxes anyways. Uh, increase the SOL uh, a little bit. We kind of don't want to be running all these negative events where you get a win, that you get when you're under 10. So just increasing above that. And we just wanted the, uh, we wanted the negative juice for the landowners. But now we're just kneecapping the landowners the other way, which is, of course, um, just forcing a revolution. We'll just clean them up pretty quick here. And then we will have... Uh, we will sufficiently weaken the landowners that we can kind of pass whatever we want um, uh, while they are weak and they probably won't really rise to power again because there's nothing really propping them up other than appointing bureaucrats. You know, we're going to switch probably to wealth voting, uh, not to census suffrage because we do not want to proc the path to liberalism event, uh, which allows you to get radical until uh, we are able to, how should I say, uh, until we are able to enact... Uh, what is it over here? Multiculturalism, which requires us to research human rights. Because in order to do an act of multiculturalism, you need a radical. And we're going to rely on this event to get us a radical. So we will not do census suffrage or universal suffrage. Discord within the intelligentsia. Uh, we will just uh, get the enactment chance. We don't want to juice up the armed forces at the expense of the intelligentsia. Just waiting for these guys to finish annexing. I think that maybe we put Malukas... Put this as auto expand. This seems fine to me. Um, we will eventually kind of want to start leaning into consumer goods a little bit. Uh, currently, we're hoping to get mechanical tools. And once we get mechanical tools, um, we will be... Here, why don't we... Is this central? Yeah. No, that's not us. That's central Java, but it's not us. These guys are cut off. Okay. Um, as I was about to say uh we do want to put the steel down somewhere because we're going to need it um uh once we get mechanical tools and then we will proc the event for atmospheric engine 
uh, for the iron mines, we'll switch all the iron mines over to atmospheric engine pump, um, which should uh, finish the event, which allows us to get tech spread or tech uh, progress towards railroads, uh, but only once we finish the other thing first. So that's why we're doing that. By the other thing is we have to have both uh, mechanical tools and atmospheric engine. We have to be able to have the potential to research railways in order to get the atmospheric engine pump event. This is a little bit of a concern though, actually. Water tube boiler um, is not spreading to us. And if you research water tube boiler, you cannot get the atmospheric engine event. So this event is the one we're talking about. Uh, we need to have at least 70% of our buildings using atmospheric engine pump being profitable, this sort of thing. And so what we will do actually is we will just proc this event now because uh, water tube boiler is not spreading to us anyways. We don't want to lose out on the event and we just want to make sure that we, we get things in. Uh, These iron mines should create demand for coal and we'll also come into the capital and create demand for coal there as well. Actually, let's just come in. Let's swap our, all our PMs back over, because we just re-annexed a bunch of our territory. And these two should make the coal mines profitable enough, I think. We'll see. If we can swing that. Government administration, we'll probably just do all of them on that. And then tooling workshops, uh, we'll switch everything to wrought iron tools. I did not realize that we had another tooling workshop being produced. Is the tooling workshop being produced? Where is it? West Java. Okay, just where exactly where we want it. Perfect. Okay, so hopefully this gears up. Uh, but this is kind of like the last war we'll have for a little bit. We do annex them. We have uh, the landowners are particularly weak. The industrialists have come out to play, which is quite nice. We're now getting their bonuses. It's uh, the small bonus, but it is these bonuses are pretty good at this uh, stage of the game we're currently in. Can we reform government to put them in? Not really, but. We will be switching to voting soon. Freedom to starve, you're telling me. Uh, I think we're more concerned with importing. So we'll uh, do that. We are running a little bit of a, a negative here. So let's see what we can do about that. Um, we can stop bolstering the intelligentsia. And then we'll put in another consumption tax, I think. If I can click correctly, we can do this. And then we can come in here and put in a tax on... Yeah, let's put it on liquor. Sure, why not? Um, we already have so much enactment chance. We will take this with the increased standard of living for the lower strata, which should make help to make them happier. The great hunger is kind of making progress. We do need to get off of land-based taxation, but we're about to, and we have to improve GDP by 50%, which our GDP has actually gone down since the start of the game, but part of this is ejecting ourselves from the Netherlands market has made it less profitable. We would love to join your customs union. Why can't we? It's not part of a customs union? Oh, we can't with all of our subjects. We'd have to integrate all of our subjects. Okay, so we're going to be going our own way then. We still want to maintain good relations with the UK. We would really love to have a trade agreement. That way we get the ticking relations plus. Because we really don't want to get in a spot where they're sticking their finger in our pie. Uh, that has kind of happened to us the previous uh, runs we've had. Um, so this is something to be a bit concerned about. But hopefully we'll be able to handle it. Uh, the iron is... Let's take a look at the prices of stuff. So we don't have enough coal, so the coal has to be really profitable. Or did it break our... No, we still have market access. We're going to take a look at the rural stuff. Now, we're trying to get the atmospheric engine pump event to fire. Why is it not firing? Are the iron mines not profitable enough? Let's take a look. So I know I have some here. Oh, they're not fully employed yet. And they are having difficulty employing because... Uh, okay. Well, they're making money, so why don't we temporarily subsidize these uh, in order to force them to employ, as well as these. Just trying to proc the atmospheric engine pump event. And now it should be able to employ up. Yeah, we do have some problems in regards to qualifications because of the really low SOL. 
part of it's driven on the back of the fact that we have such a stratified economy that um, we really need multiculturalism. Just a, just a huge chunk of our uh, of our economy, like they can't get educations, you know, they can't. They we have qualification problems. Um, now raising SOL will help with, for this considerable amount, uh, but. Uh, uh, it's not gonna we're not gonna be able to be profitable. That's unfortunate. So maybe we can't even get this event to fire. That's uh, a big uh, big sad Big sad uh, that we it looks like maybe we can't get even get this event to fire. Hopefully we do per capita taxation is gonna be nice uh, though So let's come in here and now we are pretty close to reforming the Indies We just have to improve GDP, which is uh, the name of the game uh, Let's try and get on parliamentary Republic now which should be pretty easy. Intelligentsia, very happy with us. So, I mean, if we can't get these things to even fully employ, we're, I mean, we're having an easy time getting employment in the capital, so maybe we just need to push the coal mines more so in the capital in order to get this thing. So let's do that a little bit. Uh, let's put a sulfur mine at the back of the queue somewhere, because we want to get it eventually. We're gonna need sulfur for the uh, chem plant anyways, I believe. If I am not mistaken and recall these uh, PMs correctly, we are trying to increase construction as much as possible. But we're currently losing money. We're deficit spending, this is fine. And then once it swaps over to something that's autom autonomously invested, we start to get a huge investment pool transfer. And so we're kind of roughly break even um, at this current point. So we don't need to increase taxes or decrease something. Uh, we do need to, at some point, handle our government administration problems. I think we're, I think we're no longer recovering from our paper shortage, so we actually do need more government administration. And then I think in Central Java we want to put down a steel mill kind of at the front. The reason being we're going to get research mechanical tools fairly uh, soon, so we want to be able to swap over. So I suppose we should have been mainly trying to build up in East Java. West Java and Central Java because this is where we have a lot of the Dutch or well like a decent percentage of the Dutch who we need to be capitalists or the educated to use the educated PMs unfortunately we're having significant problems with that because uh, surprise surprise we have this uh, we discriminate let's just sort by uh, pops who are Dutch ah, just 42k in our entire nation everyone else discriminated against uh, which is very very unique for these guys uh, relative to these other countries and so, and we can't join another person's customs union. That's whack, brother. Um, but we are, I mean, we're building up. 33 construction is a decent amount. Uh, we are passing all the laws we really want to pass. Um, I guess we're going to need to kind of figure out a way to juice the qualifications more. Um, we're going to need some public education up in this bizzle. So that'll be the next thing we pass after Parliamentary pro uh, Republic. It's probably a bit more important. We will probably go public schools so we can try and assimilate a little bit more. Um, but uh, the assimilation is probably not going to be very good because I believe in order to assimilate you need to not discriminate and uh, we discriminate with racial segregation. And I think we would discriminate against almost everyone who's... Uh, you know, in Indonesia with cultural exclusion. We really need to get on multiculturalism. This is a pretty big deal. So maybe we go on private schools. The problem is, it's like uh, public schools would give way better education access for our lower rung pops than private schools, which gives it based on wealth. And the problem is we don't have qualifications for our lower strata, although they are coming up with the 10.9. So hopefully they can get employed a little bit on these things. You know, we have the classic fight, but no border gore, no border changes with the war between Egypt and the Ottomans. That's interesting. The Great Hunger. We will time out in 34 months for the Romanticism. Kind of want to get the juice. Let's see what we can do. I mean, let's put these above the ports at least. And we can put the shipyards below them. So let's just do something like this. We'll need the sulfur mine, unfortunately, to make the chem plant work. Or less, maybe we'd put the chem plant at the bottom here. I wish you could click and drag, but you can't. 
Um, that would be a nice UI change. Let's put the chem plant down with the sulfur mine, something like this, so we can finish these out. We're almost done with the steel mill, and we've almost researched steel tools, so we're going to be able to swap over kind of at a nice little time here. Uh, we finished steel tools. Let's swap over to steel tools. Now, of course, this uh, place has got to uh, employ. It shouldn't have too much problem because the pop is pretty high here in Java. We'll just call it unfortunate. Try and avoid the radicalization. We also could use law enforcement as well. And you're going to employ all the way up. Which is going to help to make us make more tools. And also, yeah, hopefully we get the juice towards railways. Uh, I don't think we're short on infrastructure yet. But this is going to be a problem in the near-ish future. Fate of the Prince. He's going to abdicate or... Uh, well, landowners are pissed anyways, so we're going to exile him. Sorry, Princeo. Your time is up. Um, yeah, man, I really wish these could fully employ. I mean, I guess the solution is to stop building more. They are making money. Um, and I guess we could attract even more. Maybe if we stop building them in the queue. I just can't not finish something that's only two weeks left. But we should be able to get out uh, these Arts Academies out. Make sure we get a little bit of a tech boost. Ugh. Might have to start building unis as well. Hmm. Just kind of uh, eyeballing, eyeballing that a little bit. A little bit concerned about the money. Uh, we are recognized, so we don't have to worry too, too much. It's not like an unrecognized power where you, like, really don't want to be in a deficit. But, uh, do there is some cause for concern. Let's see if we can make... Oop. We can import this stuff from the Shing market. We have a decent amount of convoys, so let's try and see if we can fix some of this. Now... Hmm... Yeah, we just don't, we just don't want to make the the goods that are really cheap. We don't want to make them more profitable because then we'll build more of them in the auto queue. We want the auto queue to be building like this these industrial goods and such. Um, do want to get a trade route with Great Britain, or sorry, a trade agreement with Great Britain in particular? I mean, I don't think they can pull us into the customs union, right? Because we're not eligible, because we have a bunch of subjects. So the obligation is really not going to hurt us too much. So why don't we do this? And this way, our relationship will kind of constantly get improved. Let's do this one. Great Britain accepts. Now we're making money because this is auto-building. And now that Great Britain's accepted, let's import ammunition from them. Now, we have no demand for ammunition, so in order to proc that, we're going to switch to skirmish infantry. And then, we're going to import from Great Britain this. There we go. That should handle that. So now we're kind of stuck in on a much better PM. What we might do is we might build a level 1 barracks as well. And we can put it maybe at the back of the queue. Uh, the reason to build the level 1 barracks is uh, you will get this swapping over penalty. Uh, let's just take a look at this barracks. You'll get the swapping over penalty um, if you build the barracks brand new. But if it's a level 1 one and then you just add like 20 more barrackses, you won't suffer the penalty on the new ones. So um, this would prepare us to ramp up the military later uh, without committing us to ramping up the military later. We're just going to put it in the back of the queue and then switch the PMs. Or the PM should just automatically be on that. And we'll just keep them in the back of the queue. I believe they even start adjusting. It might require us to actually finish the building. We'll see. Oh, they start adjusting immediately. Well, that's perfect. We'll just finish them kind of whenever we get through all of this stuff in the queue. Uh, I do have a bunch of stuff rearing and ready to go. Hopefully we get Parliamentary Republic pretty soon here. We got a bunch of stuff we want to pass. I think we probably we want to make iron a little bit more expensive so the place employs. So why don't we come in here and in let's see what's this here? Sundar Islands. That's already steel frame. 
switch this to iron frame. Sorry, not steel frame, iron frame. We'll swap a couple over to iron frame, which is going to make uh, us have a, quite a bit more construction, and it's also going to make it more profit profitable. I love that if you put some place on auto expand, uh, the AI seems to like building there more. It's building another one of these in Malukas, uh, which is fantastic for us. This stuff's really expensive in our market. We would prefer that the auto queue is building stuff like clothing industries rather than, you know, building uh, fabric. Speaking of, we are going to try and import fabric and grain to make sure that that kind of happens. So we're going to import from the Liberian market, and we are going to import uh, grain from whoever we can get it cheap. Ooh, love the smiley and happy faces. Um, the British, we have a trade agreement with. And Xing just seems like a good one to be importing from. So this will also help raise our standard of living, which will hopefully give a little bit better education access as well, which is uh, qualifications are a bit of a problem for us uh, currently. How are these coming along? They're kind of coming along. We do want to get into Messina, and we want to take Messina. And we get Parliamentary Republic on the tick. So we're going to take a brief pause, and we're going to take a look at what we can maybe take out. Probably whichever tax is the least profitable, which is going to be this one, I'm guessing. And then, ooh, can we run negative 49? I kind of don't like it too, too much. But maybe we can... It's just 1 minus 1 approval. Don't like it too much. But we do want to get on some sort of school. Um, I think that we want public schools for reasons mentioned earlier, just kind of more flat education access. Maybe we swap over to private later. Um, hopefully the assimilation does a little bit of something, but it likely won't, because uh, we don't accept the pops, unfortunately. We would love to get on that. We would love to switch to multiculturalism. If there's a law we would want to pass, it's multiculturalism. Um, these are kind of... Little of these are... A few of these are threatening to time out. We, of course, are creating the cotton plantation, which we don't want to be, really, but uh, we're not going to delete it, so uh, that's that. Are losing a little bit of money now, so we do have to keep an eye on this, but we're still trying to get the construction up quite a bit this episode. You know, we started, like, with 25, so we've almost doubled it. Um, we did manage to pass uh, per capita taxation, which is partially helping us and so is the increase in standard of living increase in consumption we are it is a little bit sticky right now because we just have so much it's really unfortunate but we just really do have a lot of um what is it uh Ooh, let's see if we can put the industrialists in government anyway probably not um oh we can which will help us pass this faster uh makes us less righteous we could also increase taxes uh, which would not move us into a different bracket as long as we keep this as our government. So we could just come up here and expand construction a little bit that way. Probably want to do that, actually. This will lower the SOL. It's a bit of a problem, but... Um, well, we'll do it once we're kind of hemorrhaging a little bit more money uh, just to kind of recover that. So let's try and take a look. I think we're going to turn on uh, Iron Frame in every place that's not the capital. Uh, which is going to create uh, more demand for iron uh, and slight shortage of iron, which we can import from the British if we like. So let's do that because we do have a trade agreement with them. So we get the free trade party formed. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna get we're gonna end up researching water tube boiler before we can get the atmospheric engine event to pop, unfortunately. Unless maybe we maybe if we delete one of these trade routes, let's delete the Great Shing trade route for iron. And maybe it being expensive will proc the atmospheric engine pump event. The problem is this place is not fully employed, and there's not really a good way to make it employed. You know, this is expensive. The problem is we don't have enough people. We don't have enough capitalists because all of these are discriminated pops, so they can't upgrade to capitalists. There's only 22 boyos in here who can be capitalists. So this is such a weird and strange problem, in particular for the Dutch East Indies, uh, producing sugar naturally, which uh, is also probably why um, you're getting, like, the sugar plantations being created uh, rather than, like, the finished goods when the finished goods are so expensive because there's just not enough capitalists, and so it won't be able to fully employ it. So we really need to get on to multiculturalism. Um, who's winning this election? The Liberal Party? Uh, we can let the Liberal Party... 
Uh, we can kneecap the industrialist a little bit. I think they're really happy with this anyways. Donation of knowledge. Wonderful idea. West Java gets a uni, which is going to cost us a little bit of money. I think we... Nope, we can't. We don't have philosophy department. But this is going to be good because we're going to get qualifications here. We definitely have no problem hiring here specifically. Um, there's ton of Dutch people. This is where the Dutch people are at. This is like half of our population that can be capitalist basically um, because we're discriminating against everyone else and they just can't make enough money to get the education to like be able to uh, have a bit of a come up uh, which is partially why we were trying we would like to drive SOL up uh, a little bit as well and uh, now we are hemorrhaging a ton of money uh, it's important to remember that it's kind of this number plus this number so it's just minus 10k but we'll increase taxes which is going to hurt the SOL part but <laughs> we're also about uh, trying to increase uh, some other things too so uh, once we get railways actually let's come off of maybe we should just come off of railways I don't we're not, we don't have a significant infrastructure problem uh, we do have infrastructure problems okay fair enough let's do it uh, I think we will send this hmm Yep, you need uh, sulfur, so we are going to create a sulfur thing, but this is going to c fix our shortage of fertilizer, hopefully. Public schools, please. Perfect. More education access. Um, probably have the biggest tax capacity problem in West Java still, so we'll up that to try and handle that. Which, of course, is going to make it so we do need these railways. Um, going to need to find a place to put down a motor industry. I think we'll... Well, let's take a look at the population. Yeah, we have a few Dutch people here. So let's put down the motor industry here. Selection's about to pop off, you know what I mean? The Agrarian Party is going to win this. Which is quite nice. They win with a ton of the votes, so... We will have a super legitimate government again. We can even do this and be super legitimate, which is a bit tempting. Hopefully this doesn't change who the head of government is, the whip. I don't know why the rural folk guy is not the whip instead of the intelligentsia, but fine with me, I guess. We could switch national militia pretty easy. I mean, I think it's better than peasant levies. Not by much, though. Let's take a look at what else we can do. We maybe want to get off of landed voting right now. We maybe should have should not have put the industrialists in government for that end. We don't want migration controls, but um, we could go property women pretty easily. We could go wealth voting pretty easily. We don't want to go census suffrage because we do not want to provoke the liberal event at this point in time. We could go rights of assembly. Let's go property women and try and increase the workforce ratio a little bit. Hopefully this turns out okay. Yeah, it's, uh, there's very few people who can be capitalists, which is, like, the problem. Which is very, very unique to, you know, uh, we also are having trouble attracting migrants. Because you're not going to get a mass migration event for the, to these places because the average SOL is incredibly low in these places as well. Um, I mean, there's decent attraction in some of them. And some of these have, like, uh, they have unused arable land. There's a ton of available employment. But the problem is we're going to discriminate. Yeah, there's uh, the, the SOL here is relatively low, considering we're having problem, problems employing. And because it's being pulled down by the people who are struggling. So, uh, not ideal. And it's building more iron mines that we can't even fully employ. Yeah, this is a, a bit of a painful situation. But this is... It's okay. Uh, perhaps we should have actually wanted to stay in the Netherlands market. You know, um, we could propose a trade agreement with them. We could also start damaging relations with them and look to subjugate them. That way we can get Dutch people to come on over. Um, but we, yeah, we just want to get construction to about 100 and then we want to build a navy. That way we can start doing more stuff. We could start annexing people, but I, I don't think this is going to help our current problems really. Uh, let's take a look at our colonies over here. They're doing okay. Did one of them stop colonizing? No. Oh, they just got cut off, maybe? Hmm. We are trying to go into Quinine so that that spreads faster. We do want Messina for the increased education access off of that. 
Modern sewage is spreading. Cool. Water tube boilers. So we lose out on the event for the atmospheric engine. We could not get it to fire. Let's put this all on steel. Where is it building that it's... Dutchy Sunda Islands. Okay, well, whatever. Um... I do kind of want to switch to gas street lights. Let's do that. And let's switch all of these over to condensing. And switch this to slaughterhouses. Should be in good shape here. And now we can start trying to get construction up again. Yeah. Are still running a fertilizer problem. This is not fully employed though, so that should, I think that will be able to fix the fertilizer problem. Uh, we have an excess of boom booms, which is rare. Newspaper offers support. 1K for an acting chance, yeah, let's do it. We're floating minus 100 authority, so now we'll get rid of one of our consumption taxes. Um, we maybe want to get rid of services instead. Let's just take a look at how much luxury clothes gives us. So we could go luxury clothes and fruit, and there will be less consumption of fruit, or luxury clothes liquor. Yeah, that's fine. Services are a little bit worse to tax. I guess we kind of didn't need that port yet, but it's already constructed, so it is what it is. We're losing a little bit of money, this is fine. Uh, we could increase taxes again and still be hyper-legitimate. Uh, we're generating loyalists, kind of. But the bigger problem is we have a ton of uh, radicals from discrimination, I believe, is a big one. Also standard living, but like the standard living can't come up because we can't get enough people to employ on like a lot of these, you know, where we have this iron mine problem. Um, we could build a uni here to try and solve that problem specifically, but it's not, uh, just plus 15% qualifications isn't going to solve the problem, really. You know, the it's a bigger problem that's just on the back of the fact that our, we don't accept, like, any of the people who are in our, in our government. <laughs> or not, in our country, rather. We only accept, uh, certain boyos, so... It is what it is, I suppose. Raising concerns? You're telling me. Uh, we want both these guys to be powerful. Let's just double check uh, how we are. Yeah, these guys super love us, so we're just going to take this. I mean, these guys love us too. We're getting bonuses from both of them. Everyone who's... <laughs> everyone is in the government. There's no oppo group. That's kind of funny. Just all super low clout. The landowners will have a bit of a come up eventually. I have to imagine, but uh, not currently. Die works accident, we'll all die sooner or later, except for uh, not dying in vain. I love this event. Did they change it back where they removed all the puns? They removed the puns again. Terrible. Except for this one, it's right here. They will not have died in vain. Property to women? Ah, oh, okay. We can get enactment chance, or we can get... I think mathematically it makes more sense to just take the 10% here. And we're not in necessarily a particular rush. We could also look to increase our education institution right here. I actually think I like this idea. Uh, we should probably make a paper industry ourselves. Uh, it's not good to be reliant on others for paper specifically because that kind of breaks your economy in a weird way. Um, but this can be kind of a long-term thing we want to do. We can import from Great Shig. So, we're going to finish another one of these. Let's up this. Do have another government administration going somewhere else. That's going to finish. We do want to also... Let's take a look at what the price of iron is now. It's just plus 6%, and we have round 350 of buy and sell orders, so maybe we can switch on these. How much more iron would it consume? So it would make iron very expensive. We'll, like, lose, be losing a lot of money, but we will get up uh, quite a bit on the construction. I think we move up from... Yeah, we'll gain 28 construction, so this will be... We'll just kind of bite the bullet here. Uh, we do have also iron in the queue, if I'm not mistaken. And it basically doubles construction here. Um, we are losing a bit of money, but this is, this is not too bad. We'll put the iron up a little bit, because this becomes much more of a priority here. 
Great Britain takes on some debt. And the railways are coming in nicely. We can't get the atmospheric engine event to make this faster. Unfortunately, we kind of, uh... Ooh, let's come and look here. So we're not hiring here. Oh, patronize, it's gonna expire in eight days. Yeah, so we won't even be able to hit this. Damn, 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 damn. Uh, in my head, I only needed to build the thing. Probably needed to actually export this. Uh, intentionally to like the British market, even though it's not profitable just to increase the employment here, but the, again, it's, can't hire enough aristocrats, don't have enough Dutch people here, um, and, uh, we have plenty of other people who are not Dutch here, unfortunately, uh, which means we're gonna delete ones that, ones of these are, that are not productive, actually, we'll keep those in, this is productive now, but, the uh, the problem is, is our SOL is too low to create attraction because of all the non-Dutch people here, um, who are discriminated against so they can't really become capitalists as easy. It's quite a bit harder for them. And so, yeah, problems. Do have this on automatic expansion. We will need to bring that up eventually. So, but uh, kind of close to having tripled construction a little bit here um, already, which is, you know, it's maybe not the progress we wanted, but perhaps it's the progress we deserve. And we are now adjacent to Liberia. So we're going to take a save here. And we're probably going to try and subjugate Liberia because we uh, can't really move around our military very easy. Uh, but we're just going to puppet these guys. Now we're going to puppet over Dominioning because we want to be able to go through them uh, to access. And also we are anticipating that we uh, will not be able to start another fight. The reason we're not fighting anyone right now is we have no navy so we can't perform any landing and we kind of want to get the construction up before we get a navy, so it's like this type of thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, that is a, that is a big ticket. Um, we're going to actually put these barracks at the bottom of the queue, because we really don't need them yet. And we are just going to load, because we don't want to fight Great Britain. <laughs> Um, the classic Great Britain putting the finger in the pie. Uh, we are hoping that in general they will do a lot less of that because we have a trade agreement with them, um, which is why we're kind of keen on getting that trade agreement to begin with. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We still need to try and sort this out, but we still can put the barracks at the bottom of the queue. I think this is what, kind of what we want to do. The motor industry is going to be important. We're going to put that above the textile mill. Actually, we're going to put it above here, too. We want that to get uh, finished kind of re relatively soonish because we do have infrastructure problems now in the capital, which is one of the few places we can uh, build up tall. So I'm going to try and fix that. Literacy is coming up, so this is kind of nice. It's also kind of terrible, so this is not so nice. We have reformed the Indies. We just have to increase the GDP by 50%. But we're almost back to like kind of the GDP before we left uh, the market. Um... Maybe we should have stayed in longer just to siphon off more Dutch pops. I don't really know. I think that uh, this pain that we're experiencing now, we would not be experiencing it if we were in the Dutch market. But now we cannot rejoin any market. Um, if we could join a market, this would actually also be a lot better for us. So maybe we just want to start annexing these guys. Just annex all of them. And then join the market. See, because if we were in the British market, we could siphon off British pops. And have them serve as our capitalists so we would be able to employ up all the way. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's best. I think what we're doing is kind of best given where we're at now, but I think staying in the, the, the Dutch customs union for longer would have been a little bit better, uh, to try and siphon off, um, some more Dutch people. We just don't have enough of, we just don't, we have very little pop that we accept, and the big problem is, is we can't, uh, we don't have very high migration attraction because the average SOL is low from all the pops we don't accept. Um, so, yeah, problems. Um, I got one more problem without me. Okay, so let's try and see, hmm. I mean, I guess national militia is better, but if we, I'm not sure, if we enact national militia, 
that limits uh that would delete five of our barrackses. Which is maybe not the end of the world, but it's not exactly what we want. I think we want to switch to wealth voting here. Um which will help to keep the uh the landowners down. And it's easy to pass right now. It feels pretty good. We might have to increase taxes again. Right here? No, maybe not. Maybe as long as like uh I mean, deficit spending has uh, a bit of strength to it, um, and maybe now that the clothing is popping off in Malukas, we can get something done here. It's very, very, very profitable, so a huge portion of this demand is the rich Dutch. The <laughs> I think our economy might be extremely stratified, stratified right now. Yeah, secure. <laughs> They're not even, their SOL's not even that high, though. Mm. Big oof. We're about to finish our motor industries, which is going to be nice. It's a shame we can't oh, join the British market. It's weird. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything we can really start here. And then after we research Quinine, I guess we will want egalitarianism relatively early. I don't know. That makes sense to me. It no longer allows us to go multiculturalism, which is kind of where we need to get to. We have to get from here to there. Somehow, somewhere. We, of course, will put at the top of the queue a railroad in West Java. I think that's the only place where we have an infrastructure problem. But that'll help to make everything more profitable, which is probably some percentage of our woes is a decreased investment pool. No, but it didn't look like it decreased. Hmm, weird. Not enough fertilizer. I mean, we can import fertilizer. I, oh, I didn't mean to... Okay, let's take this off of... Let's switch back to simple farming. Yeah? And I meant to have just a, some of these on uh, soil enriched. Not all of them. Or, like, my, my caveman brain. Yeah. Now, we want it to be more than this. So we'll come in here and put this one on as well, and maybe that'll... We want it to be expensive, but not running a shortage is, like, where we want it. So, like, maybe this is a good spot. Um... I forget these guys are also providing us with uh, industrial goods, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. I think we want the prestige. Speaking of, now that we're not a subject, let's see if we can declare another interest. Oh, wait, why do we have a native interest here now? Okay, either way, we will try and uh, get something done over here. We hopefully will be able to colonize and then take Zanzibar from Amman or something like this. I guess one of these finished? I don't think... Okay, well, whatever. I do want to get construction up more. This is a little bit of cause of concern. I believe, yeah, we do have room to increase taxes again, so it's not the worst. Um, and we're going to keep stuff where it's at for now. GDP is cranking up, though. We're starting to have a bit of a come up, so this feels good. Um, your GDP growth, relatively speaking, is kind of corresponds to the amount of construction you have, which is kind of why we're trying to work on construction as much as possible here. But... Uh, we are constructing a lot here in Malukas. Let's build a construction center there. Although perhaps we should not be expanding construction centers currently, considering uh, our financial situation. I think it's fine. They want to preserve landed voting. Shame on you, boys. Shame on you. Hmm. Well, I guess we could put... Oh, the armed forces aren't strong yet. Eventually, they'll get their clout back. The landowners are pretty strong, and they're mad. So we're getting this minus 10% on a bunch of taxes, which I think is actually what uh, all this decrease is about, because a huge percentage of our economy is actually rural, and so this is kneecapping us really hard, and there's not going to be a good way to... Uh, 
They're just going to pay less taxes. There's not a new, good way for us to get rid of this. I don't think we can make the landowners um, weak again unless we provoke another revolution type of thing. Or it will be a little bit difficult. As it were, yeah, that is exactly what it is. Shoot. Oh boy. We'll just take the enactment chance here. We also want to come off of, uh, move on to wealth voting because this will help to make the landowners weaker overall relative to landed voting. We just need to improve the GDP a bit more and we will get whatever this reform the Indies event is. About, at least. We could declare, we could try and take just North Borneo and uh, Lujan from Sulu, Sulawesi. Maybe this is what we should be doing. Gold fields depleted. No, unfortunate. I believe we'll be able to, yeah, make gold mines, which will be helpful for solving this. We might have to delete construction. I really hate deleting construction, though. Maybe we can just build through it. How much are we paying in interest? Five k. <laughs> Another 1k in additional expenses. Can't really uh, increase revenue anyway here. Wealth voting is going to be good though. I think a huge percentage of our expenses is actually these iron mines. So let's actually just kick these to the top of the queue. Or is in irons. Maybe we can make iron cheap enough. And just we'll put a new one wherever we have some labor uh, or not some labor where we don't have an iron mine and then we will set it to auto expand as well oh, we'll switch on to you onto condensing pump engine put this on auto expand the sulfur mine too i don't think the sulfur mine will automatically expand though you know what we could do though uh, if we turn on this, this will actually kneecap the landowners and maybe it'll make them poor again because it makes them, or it, it, it will make them poor, which will decrease their clout, uh, because it makes all their buildings less profitable. So we will try that. We of course run a shortage, but, uh, we don't care if our chem plant auto expands. This is not bothersome to us. Uh, well, it just immediately does it, uh, with the fertilizer so expensive and then with the fertilizer extremely expensive, um... Suddenly, this is not making very much money. We would rather it not be running a shortage, but hey. Uh, maybe we can get the landowners... Uh, nope. They're, they're going to have their come up anyways. Alright, so we'll try and uh, play a little bit nice. We'll switch this over to simple farming. Still trying to make it less profitable, actually, so the landowner is a little bit weaker. Donation of knowledge. Uh, That's a good idea. East Java. Sure, this will help with the quals. Eventually, we'll probably delete uh, this uni, but um, we'll take it for free for now. We are going to be getting a whole bunch of these iron mines finishing. Hopefully, this kind of brings down the construction good cost, which is a hu which is basically like our biggest national cost more than anything is just what we're per what we're paying on construction goods. So this will be a big help, which is kind of why you actually want to control. Uh, the queue, because if you notice, the auto queues keeps building clothes, and so when we have interventionalism as opposed to laissez-faire, we can focus more on bringing the price of iron down than on uh, necessarily building what's most profitable for the capitalists. But like once we get around 200-ish uh, construction, stuff will start to feel a little bit different, and so it'll become less important. Hopefully they can employ up. Yeah. Yeah, our SOL is going to be very, very sticky, unfortunately. I think we won't incorporate any of these guys because we don't accept them and they accept themselves. So the, I think that wherever it is, it will actually probably just be more productive, not incorporated uh, for the time being at least. Uh, we did increase so we could increase institutions. Let's do education and uh, I think we can just afford education right now. I think that's a bit more of a priority. Uh, Tador is damaging relations. That's unfortunate. We just want to be friends. Uh, this is kind of stalling out a little bit. I think the start of the game, I'm not sure exactly where it was at. I think it was like 6 to 7, somewhere in there. Alright. 
Pain, 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 pain. Let's check the price of iron. Why are we running? Can this not employ? Ah, just huge problems by not accepting people. This is why I accept people. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. We just, uh, everything's like sticky and can't be fixed too easily. I guess we'll downsize here. One of the construction centers. It feels so dumb. We could downsize barracks as well. I don't think I want to do that at this point. We'll just do this. Maybe we'll downsize two barracks so when the other barracks is finished, we'll have a total of 10 again. Kind of want to stay a little. I like the this 12 number here. We don't want to decrease it. I suppose we could kick the gold mines to the front. That's probably a little bit better, but I don't think that's solving this problem here. I think that this this problem is, uh, yeah, we're uh, large portion of this is is government wages and goods for government buildings and interest now. We did decrease the demand for iron as well. It's not even extraordinarily expensive. Maybe we can import a little bit from the French to try and bring down the price of construction a little bit. Uh, if we do this... Oh, we're just one shy. That's unfortunate from being able to put in uh, more taxes. Um... Let's remove this and this, and then check out... Yeah, services just does make more, so we'll do services for now. I think the tax is at max level already. Um, more than happy for the rural folk to juice the industrialists. I mean, we're minus 15k, but this is without an automated uh, construction going on, so hopefully when the automated kicks in, it builds another... Gets us to, like, kind of where we want to be. I mean, the uh, GDP is coming up. Are we paying any in subsidies? I guess, no. None in subsidies, this is unfortunate. Ooh, and now Lucas is gonna need. Yeah, this is not ideal. We'll put a railway down there at the back of the queue to hopefully handle this. What about Arts Academy in each Java? Well. Uh, I mean, at least it's using uh, the investment pool transfer, so it's pulling us out of debt a little bit here. Um, I suppose we could put them on auto expand, but again, can't employ because you can't ha get enough Dutchmen. And we're never going to get a mass migration of Europeans. Man, this is so... We should not have... Uh, I don't think we should have left the, the market of the, the Netherlands because we are reliant on them for getting Dutch people. I think that this is this is the problem. Who uh, almost want to restart the run, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, definitely don't want the Conservative Party to do well at all, so we'll just take that. Hmm. Oh, just painful. That's what this is. Yeah, not integrating these guys. How do we get... Well, I know, I know what we need to do. We just need to get... Maybe we just... Rush human rights. Like, ahead of time. Super ahead of time. 18 years? Jesus. I mean, we really, really need... Mm, I guess Central Archives wouldn't be terrible for us. And then once we get on Proportional Taxation, that should be quite a bit better. Uh, and then unlocking the Radical Party would be nice. So let's... Let's just try and think through this. We do have... I mean, the Philosophy Department is not... Nothing. We have a couple of unis. Uh, just... Hmm uncomfortable very uncomfortable let's see what this is about food of Geelong fine with us in fact since they are starting uh, we will juice the trade unions we'll take a little bit of a save and my guess is is that since the UK has their own play they won't stick their finger in our play of coming after Liberia here so let's try and puppet Liberia while they are uh, and also ask for war reps
and hopefully no one sticks their finger in our pie. We could sway, in theory, the Netherlands. God. Wish we... Daddy, will you take us back? I mean, we could ask to be a protector, I think. We could get a trade agreement here. I mean, maybe that's the play. Getting out from under a protector is kind of a pain in the butt, though. Um, swindling something, something. We'll just take their... Uh, they side with Liberia. Come on, Great Britain. Why you gotta do us like that? I mean, in the Sokoto run, we became... The big reason why it was a problem being a protectorate of Great Britain in the long run was that uh, we couldn't get recognition. But we are already recognized. But they have to be at peace. Okay. So, hopefully, once we finish this gold, maybe this kind of gets to a reasonable balance. We are trying to get it up to 100. I guess we've gone on maybe quite long enough for this episode. Um, uh, let's get to the end of the gold mines, and then we'll talk about it. And, ooh, uh, we're minus 2, we're minus 3k just now. Now, are we paying subsidies? No. It's military wages, a huge chunk of its interest now. I mean, well, the paper is coming in. Where is it coming in? West Java. Fine having paper there. Uh, we're going to switch to sulfide pumping as well. I guess we're just mainly going to build up in West Java here. Eh, we'll take the approval, I guess. Which gets them off of a penalty, which is nice. What penalty were we running? Minus tech spread? Yikes, that's not a one we want to be running. So this will be good. Education level is increased. Uh, once we get, uh, what is it? Uh, central archives, we will be able to turn up uh, colonialization as well. I think for now, we actually kind of care quite a bit about getting education up. Uh, that is does seem to be the problem we're having, you know. This place cannot employ. Uh, but maybe, can we turn... Ah. No, no, the labor is... Oh, yeah, okay, so I think we actually do want to do this. Because it takes less laborers. No, maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Can't get fully employed. Ah, the conservative party wins? Real? For realsies? We're going to switch to this, which is kind of the best we can do. But the landowners, we are going to have a bit of a row with them soon enough, unfortunately. Yeah, they just won a ton of... They just had too much power, uh, and they're going to rev. They're going to rev real quick. Hopefully we get wealth voting through. That's, uh, the election popped, and they went from, like, 6% clout to, like, 50. Interesting. I mean, we should be able to win this pretty easily, this rev, but, uh... I don't know if we can afford that. Uh, I'm more than happy to just put the industrialists back in the government, and then we will just take them back out again. <sighs> well, once we rev, we will be able to the knee, the landowners will be re kneecapped again. I think we'll call this an episode here, though. Oh, we get reforming the enemies, so this is perfect timing. Um, why don't we uh, even screen cap that? Because maybe that'll make be good in the thumb. You know me, always thinking with a thumbnail. That's technically what I should be doing, but like, uh, I probably don't think about it as often as I should. Okay. Oh my god, if this helps us get people. Uh, gets investment pool contribution efficiency and adds the ethical party to the Dutch East Indies. Uh, or we get local, local labor force, which gives qualifications. An ethical policy, and, and an ethical policy is in both of them. I think we need the qualifications, to be honest, to fully employ these places. So we'll go with qualifications. Yeah. I mean, I would love to get the investment pool contribution efficiency. But, like, this is, this is where our problem is. Well... Uh, 
Ah, I do like me some investment pool. We're going to do the investors. And we're going to call it an episode. This episode, we sparked a revolution. Um, and we are now sparking another one. Uh, passed a bunch of government reforms. And then also, roughly speaking, tripled construction. So it is a bit of a come up. We are experiencing quite a bit of pain, though, uh, by just not having enough Dutch people to uh, do the high qualifications jobs. And they are the only accepted group. Uh, and we cannot attract new migrants because we all have a really low standard of living as well. So this, this combined factor, we probably should have stayed in the Dutch market for longer because we could have attracted Dutch people from, you know, Holland um, and this type of stuff and gotten them to come work here. And now we're, we're sitting in a bit of a bad spot, but we will try and make a recovery. Um, at this point, although I would like, uh, to anyone who's going to be starting a Netherlands run, I would recommend probably not uh, getting free from them so early. Um, maybe I'll put something in the uh, the, the upload that uh, this is a bit of a problem and us, ability, uh, us being able to get Dutch people to migrate to, um, you know, our market is uh, extremely important. Although we have, we have non-Dutch capitalists here, if it's just 25. Like, we have aristocrats. We have uh, 4.5k aristocrats, so they need to be... Yeah, they're primarily not even Dutch. Um, and so maybe maybe I'm just overly concerned with this. If we take a look at the capitalists, there's 1.2k capitalists. They're just capitalists that are, you know, Dayak, Bornean, and like this type of stuff. I don't know. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.